I'm scared. Scared of what? <laughs> I've never recorded with you. It's weird. <laughs> Don't be scared. There's nothing to break. There's a lot to be scared of. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am accustomed. Wait, accustomed? Nope. I'm, I'm with my mom. She is, she's the reason why I'm Cree. She's 100% Cree. Say hello. Hello. Yeah, oh, in Cree. That's it. <laughs> Say, how are you doing in Cree? Oh, it's just a bad Cree woman. How are you? Doing yeah. Cree? Yeah, say it. There you go. Okay. So today we are making fry bread, which is a form of bannock, right? There's yes. like there's like two forms there's, of bannock. There's yeah. you can bake it or you can fry it. And so yeah, we're doing some fry bread today. She's got everything kind of prepared here. She's got a bunch of flour. How much lard is that? Just a quarter. Okay, so one thing is natives don't write down the recipes. They no, just they I just don't she she does this by she does this by memory. So so that's like what one cup of flour. Yeah, we're just gonna make maybe four cups. Four cups. Make it five. Five five cups of flour. That's yes. a lot. You said we were not doing lots. Of okay. <laughs> you said we okay, were not making good. no well, five. You, you've already said five, so there you go. Some people don't measure. No. No. They just they just throw it in. I so five cups of flour there. Okay. Are you your mama? <laughs> She's a little nervous so being on the camera, so it's I'm a little nervous recording with her just because this is all weird. So what is this? It's bacon, bacon powder. Bacon powder. How much? What? Uh, four teaspoons. Four teaspoons. Three, four. As you saw, it wasn't really measured out. It was very, very high up on that spoon. <laughs> Okay, so just just a little bit, just a little bit of salt. There you go. Then you stir it all up with your hands. With your hands, it's always your hands, buddy. She didn't wash her hands. She's I just wash my hands. <laughs> <Just joking. laughs> okay. And then, how much lard is that again? Just a quarter. You, you're not supposed to use that. L lard in a fried pan. What are you supposed to use then? Nothing, but sometimes I do it. Sometimes? It a little bit so fun. you don't need lard, but you don't need lard. it makes it taste better? Yeah, and a little fluffier. Yo, I didn't know you... That's it? I didn't know you're not supposed to use lard. Well, no, I, I do use lard all the time. Some people don't. Old people don't. You're old. I'm not that old. <laughs> you're freaking 80. <laughs> Not 80. <laughs> okay, so now two eggs, two large eggs. Two eggs. Coco never used to use eggs. No, when what, they were old. What did she use? Just Holy, just, just modern bacon. natives here, eh? Yeah, just bacon powder. Just bacon powder. And water and uh, lard, and that's it. Nice. Oh. What is that? Just a little bit of sugar. How much? Just, just two just teaspoons. Two teaspoons of sugar? And I'm that was like that. a quarter cup. What is that? It's milk. Oh, how much? Maybe two cups of milk. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Again, I, I, I've never met anyone who's like made bannock who does like measuring and all that. It's weird. So you're warming up about two cups just of milk? Warm it up. Yeah. 15 seconds in the microwave or so? A little warm. 20? Also, she told me that this is a family tradition, family recipe passed down by generation to generation. And if you guys spread it, she's gonna come and haunt you in your dreams after she, she passes away. You, you don't want you don't want a, a scary native haunting you in your what? dreams. That's not very nice. Okay, I quit. <laughs> oh, and also she has. I don't, I don't even know how much. It's, uh, it's a little bit of oil, just like about a couple, half an inch up. Just enough to fill the bottom and a little bit on the, the top. She's got it warming up at about at a two right now. Yeah, it's very warm right now, so. Yeah. So you poured about half, about one cup of milk? About one cup of milk, yes. Just give it a stir yeah. with a, a fork, it looks like. It's a fork. People don't use forks, but sometimes I cheat. Yeah. 
And if you need more, it needs more flour. I mean milk. More milk. So she used all, all the milk there. So now she's adding just a little bit of water. What was that, about a half a cup you'd say? Just a quarter of a cup. Quarter cup. It just, you just need to, this flour needs to dissolve. Just work through it. Make sure there's no more dry flour bits. Yeah. Ooh, that's a lot more flour. Well, never mind. Not really. She filled up like a full cup and then just sprinkled a little bit in, just so it's not as sticky. That's good. Put it here. Just a little flour on the little board here. Make it make it so it doesn't stick to the the glass, right? Yeah. Guys, I'm excited. I never make bannock at home because I've never... Actually, now that I'm recording this and I'll have something to like refer back to, I'm probably gonna try to make my bannock at home and I'll, I'll maybe record that and That's see how like bad this. it is. If you're gonna throw it in the oven, just make it like it, throw it in the oven. Oh, you just like the entire thing in the oven? Yeah. How, how, how long would you cook that for if you're throwing it in the oven? As long as it's cold and brown, about 25 minutes. 400. At what temperature? 400? 400. So if you're throwing it in the oven 400 degrees and then about 20 minutes until it's golden brown, it's hard to, to burn it. You'll, you'll notice it. So she's cut these up into quarters and then is cutting these up into to threes. Or fours. Or fours. It depends <laughs> how much you're going to make. Don't make a little, just a little tiny holes. You just want a little... Little stab, not not too not too deep. Or you don't have to stab it; just press it like this. Look. Okay. Okay. I'm doing this. You like doing that more than the yeah the knife or the yeah the fork. Yeah. Coco used to like forks. Is this hot enough? Yeah. Ooh. Look at that sizzle action going on there. I think I put a little bit too much oil, but that's okay. It's like a frying donut. <laughs> I remember you made donuts once and then like, you said it stunk up the house. It's like you never made donuts ever again. I know. <clears throat> okay, let's so again, she has that out. about uh, between one and two. Nothing, nothing too hot, so. Old lady. That's so loud. I know, I don't. <laughs> there you go, there you go. Okay. And you can see over here oh. that it's rising a little bit. Yeah, the light. I thought you were turning on the fan. I was gonna say, no, it's gonna be so loud. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I dropped the camera. Golden <laughs> brown, look at it. Ooh. Oh, that looks so good. So that hasn't even been like two minutes. No. Just like a minute and a half there. But don't make it, it if it's high, you don't wanna yeah. cook it a little bit faster because oh, that, that so dough won't cook in the middle. See look? So seriously, it's like, it, it appears as like one of the easiest things to make, but it's super delicious. And then she's got a big old bowl for for all the bannock. And then for like the, the fried stuff, you obviously just wanna put like a little layer of paper towel to absorb some of that oil, so it's not too greasy. See, I turned it down, now it went. can't wait. <laughs> so I'm gross. I really like my bannock with cheese whiz. <laughs> or you could also put like jam and Roger's syrup, which is really good on it. Roger's golden syrup. You can, you can make a, you can use jam. You can make a sandwich with this. Oh yeah, you could do anything with it. 
some people make a pan of pizza, but I never done that before. Wow. Pizza? Should. <laughs> this thick panic is just universal. <laughs> more minutes. Not even a not even a couple more minutes, yeah. More so you seconds. can see how all of it is golden brown. There's like no white on the top. Right and like I said, you want to put a paper towel at the bottom of the bowl just to absorb some of that extra oil. Right, man, it's not good for you, but it's very good. <laughs> it's definitely not it's definitely not good for you, but it's freaking delicious. See? Still hear it sizzle. That's how you know when it's hot. Sometimes it's okay like that. Yeah, with a little white on the, yeah. the middle. Yeah. It's like that donut, eh? Look at it. It's good with like a little white in it. Like me! Half. <laughs> <laughs> like Alex. So yeah, as my mom said a little bit earlier, like the, the the amount she makes yields quite a bit. So you can you can freeze it and then like obviously like let it thaw. What I like to do is I like to cut it in half and then put it in the toaster for a little bit, just warm it up and get it back to like that crispiness. Oh, so good. Yeah, that's what some people are doing now. Yeah. Or you never used to do that. Just eat it like that. Yeah, it's really good after like it's frozen and then you just put it back in the wherever. Yo, do you guys not have a toaster anymore? Yeah. Where is it? See, four, five cups makes a lot of. Uh, yeah, five cups makes a lot. What, what kind of oil is that? Vegetable? It's, uh, vegetable oil, cooking oil. Yeah. Forgot to mention that. Yeah. I'll mix this thing like that. That's good. If you want to burn yourself. Yeah, you're, there's gonna be a lot of oil spitting. So when you when you do this, make sure you you watch out and don't don't burn yourself. So yeah, my mom just finished up. Uh, as you can see, a lot of oil is kind of gross and whatnot, but it gives you a lot of a lot of fried bannock for sure. And my mom said uh, if you. If you run out of oil, obviously you can just add a little bit more and whatnot. So again, you want to cook that for just till it's like golden brown like this. Make sure it's not too thick, otherwise you're gonna make sure make run into problems where it's a little bit doughy and whatnot. So, but uh, how to eat? Such a big plate for <laughs> a tiny little piece of bag. That's okay. So yeah, we got it. We got it like margarine up. You can put butter on it or whatever. But uh, yeah, my mom said that they. What, what is it? Well, because, Cover it up. This is our treat when we were younger. Roger syrup. Roger syrup. It's, it goes like really good with like stew or chili or whatnot. But honestly, after a really good meal, you just pop this open. Just put a little little dollop on. Spread it around. <laughs> what? And so. Oh, it smells so good. Cheers. Cheers. Thank you, mom. You're welcome. Mm. Just like the olden days. Anyways, guys, thank you to my mom for, for showing us and me how to make bannock. How do you say thank you for watching in Crete? Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Say, thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.